Now we're moving on to dome cameras. Dome cameras come in indoor or outdoor versions. They come in standard plastic, or you could get some of the armor domes like this in my hand, which actually have a metal base and a polycarbonate shell that'll usually withstand a 10 pound sledgehammer blast. What Chris has over here is your standard armor dome. This has a three axis mounting bracket, so it could actually mount directly to the wall or to the ceiling while the one in my hand only has a two axis internal bracket, which means I need the wall bracket if I want to go to a wall. So Chris has the armor dome in his hand now. What's nice about the armor domes is they usually have some type of security screw so nobody can just reach up there and unscrew the dome. And they also protect your wiring after they're installed. Go ahead and show them how it would mount to the wall or the ceiling, Chris. All right. Now what you would do typically here is you would go ahead and set your, your screw holes and mark them out properly and then pull the dome down and you have to make sure you're going to anchor the armor domes in as they are most likely to be vandalized. Okay, so once you get the camera mounted to the structure, whether it be a wall or a ceiling, you are ready to actually aim the camera and set the lens angle that you'd like. Once you get that done, you could then take the cover, stick it on, and screw back in the security screws. If you notice here, we've left the protective material on all of these cameras until the installation's complete, and that'll actually keep your camera looking good, and you won't have any defects in the lens.